Hello everyone, this is Anna Phillips and today I am going to be sharing my personal testimony. So it is basically in my life, I guess, before I encountered Jesus, me encountering him, and how he has affected me today and how it has been for me over the past few years. Before I begin, I just want to say that this isn't a video just for Christians. Um, it's basically for everyone because I think there's other parts in this video that might help motivate y'all, inspire. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but where, whatever else you're dreaming about, I want you to go out and follow those dreams because you might have regrets. So that's one thing I wanted to mention before I got into anything. Also, if you don't have any plans yet for the future or feel like that your world is falling down, that's completely okay too. I believe that one day you will get back on the right track one day and later, I believe that things will start going well for you, which I think I'm experiencing a lot today which I will explain in my story. Now, let's get into the video. When I was young, I was raised Catholic and I went to a Catholic school from kindergarten to eighth grade. So I already knew a lot about Jesus. We would go to mass every Wednesday and learn more about Jesus and religion class. I think it was around fourth grade where I stopped going to church every Sunday so I lost a little connection with Jesus. Later on, my friend introduced me to this youth group in middle school. She also invited me to church every now and then, and I got to hear more about Christian music and become a part of a different community. My friend also invited me to this Christian camp, which I went to for five years. It gave me another opportunity to encounter Jesus more. And during those two weeks at camp, I got to make lots of friends and hear even more about Jesus. There was a point in middle school where I started to compare myself to others and care too much about how many likes I got on Instagram. I also did YouTube where I got a little hate and some people made rumors about me in school, which hurt my self-esteem a little bit. At the beginning of my senior year in high school, I found out that I had epilepsy and it was really hard at first because I couldn't drive due to it, but I'll talk more about what my seizures look like in another video. I also transferred to a different school senior year, so I did lose some connections with people. Although I lost a few connections, I got to make new friends in this new high school. Then, of course, COVID happened and schools were switched to online, prom was canceled, my senior trip to Disney and Universal was canceled, including my trip to Costa Rica and St. Martin, and my lacrosse got canceled. But I did manage to score a goal before COVID hit. Then my freshman year of college began. Classes were still mainly online. I only had one in-person class, and it almost looked like a ghost town when I was walking everywhere. Most of my friends went to different schools, so most of the time I was just stuck in my room and didn't really have anyone to hang out with. I didn't really have the opportunity to make friends in my class, so there was a few moments where I had a hard time. Now I am a sophomore at college and I will tell you how my life turned back around. All my classes are in person now except for one 
and I can see lots of people on the streets. I even made a friend of one of my classes, so that felt nice. I wasn't thinking about joining a club at first, but let me tell you this crazy story. There was one day where many clubs were promoting their club and handing out a bunch of flyers. And one person came up to me and asked if I had the time to fill out a short survey. So I just did it just because. Then about three days later, this girl reached out to me and asked if I wanted to have lunch with her sometime. So I said, sure. We started talking and then she said there was a club meeting later on and asked me to join. So I said, okay. Then I happened to join another club which is also a crazy story. When I got my second vaccination shot, I had to wait in this room for 10 minutes, and this guy was sitting next to me, and we started talking, and he asked me if I wanted to join the club he was in later on, and I said, okay. All right, so let me tell you how my life is doing now. So currently I am in two clubs, the Navigators and the Study Abroad Association. And I am learning Korean every day. And there's actually this girl in my club that lived in Korea a few years. So I am able to um, talk to her about Korean things and she helps me out with my Korean every now and then. I also had an opportunity to go to these Korean tables and basically there's these four Korean leaders that talk to you more about Korean language which has really helped me out a lot. Like one time we went to a Korean restaurant, um, watched an episode of a show and just you know learned about more words and conjugations, stuff like that. I've met such great people in my life recently, and it feels so good to have people supporting me all the time. And I can just post in the group chat like, hey, anyone want to hang out? And they respond. And I don't know if it was Jesus that gave me such opportunities now, but it is really nice to be in the Navigators because I'm so close with everyone and... I haven't really read the Bible that much, but now that I'm reading it, it's actually really inspirational. It has a lot of life studies and stuff, so that's cool. And hearing other people's perspectives on it is nice, too. Um, I even had the opportunity this year to go to a conference center for a weekend where you basically learn more about Jesus and go to these workshops that you choose to do and we did some hiking and stuff so I went to this one workshop it's basically about slowing down through your busy times and I thought I've been really busy this year with school and my Korean and just stuff like that um because most days I get too ahead of myself and think about my future a lot, which is great and all, but I should also live in the moment too and take a break every now and then. All right, so that was my personal testimony. Congrats to those who made it all the way through this video. I know it was a lot, basically my whole entire life, but if my life could turn back around this year, I believe yours can too, whenever that may be. I also want to go back on what I said about following your dreams. I think right now I'm going to South Korea my junior year, so for a semester, so basically in one year. And if I really love it, I really think I will move there, either at 22 or 23. I think some people, it's just about 
thinking that's just about the Korean guys or I'm just going there because of K-pop. But that's not true at all. Maybe just a small percentage. But I'm just so immersed into the culture now that feels like I almost have to do it. Because I know about the K-dramas, K-pop, and the overall culture and stuff like that. Um, I'm glad that many people are supporting this in my dream. Especially my mom and um, hopefully my brothers and friends. Um, if you have something that you have been wanting to do and haven't yet, I encourage you to do it or you may have regrets. Um, so this is the end, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications because there may be more videos coming your way. My social media will also be in the description below. So, bye everyone.